Racetrack racing is one of the most popular forms of racing in the United States, with over an estimated 1,000 operational tracks throughout the United States. Racing has been going on since before World War I, but became widespread during the Prohibition era from moonshiners modifying their cars to evade police on moonshine runs. However, the first non-stock car, made specifically for racing, was invented years before in 1911 by Ray Heron, who would come out of retirement to pilot the Marmon Wasp and win the inaugural Indianapolis 500, paving the way for modified racing. The first sanctioning body for auto racing was formed in 1915 by J. Alex Sloan, the International Motor Contest Association, more commonly known as the IMCA. The first class of cars was an open-wheel class called Big Cars and ran from 1915 through 1977. Jerry Blundy, number 39, and Johnny White, number one, occupy the front row. Blundy jumps into the lead with White second and Larson way back in the pack. This class would pave the way for a new class of cars called E-Modifieds that would be formed in 1979. These cars are commonly referred to today as a modified and are a cross between an open-wheel car and a stock car. It has quickly become one of the largest classes in dirt racing. The front tires in a modified are open while the rear tires are comparable to a stock car with the body fashioned around them. As the class grew in popularity, many other sanctioning bodies were formed and added this class of cars to their registrar while making changes to the rules to distinguish themselves. The most common sanctioning bodies in Kentucky and the surrounding states are the United Midwestern Promoters, known as UMP, and American Motor Racing Association, known as AMRA. While most open-wheel modified cars look about the same, there is one other popular style of modified known as a Super Dirt Car Series Modified. While the idea for the body is the same, one major difference is that the driver sits in the middle of the car, entering through the roof instead of the left side. The show is going to happen with a 99L coming from the back. If you go four wide, you're determined to get to the front, and he is already charging through this field. He's on the back bumper of Max McLaughlin. Meanwhile, at the front of the field, Matt Shepard and Eric Rudolph continue their battle as Larry White, he is closing in on a top 12 position right now. He's on Max McLaughlin's back bumper. While racing can be fun to watch and participate in, it does come with serious risks. There are over 20 deaths associated with racing since 2014 and countless broken bones and concussions. As bad as this looks, there were no serious injuries. While some of these are freak accidents, many could have been prevented with proper safety equipment. Most sanctioning bodies are cracking down on safety, but local tracks do not enforce the same rules. Some highly important equipment a driver can have is a fire retardant suit, gloves, and shoes. Many sanctioning bodies require drivers to have a neck restraint device to prevent whiplash and a fire suppressant system, a crucial addition if the driver is upside down and on fire, giving them extra time to get out of the car. However, in the recent years, many historical tracks have been shutting down across the country, unable to keep the stands full and having enough drivers to put on a show. The low-budget driver is disappearing with the cost of racing soaring. Some sanctioning bodies try to keep the cost low with tire rules and motor restrictions, but despite these rules, it can be hard for the average person to afford to race. Sure, it can be fun to watch the big teams with plenty of funding race, but the grassroots local teams are what keep tracks open and operational.